a lot of candidates sit for the wire mathematics exam very well in the exam but when the result comes out they don't do very well and they begin to ask why stay tuned with me if you are one of those students that want to get very high score in mathematics WIAC. all right i am going to share with you seven big repeated mistakes usually make by candidates during the WIAC mathematics exam the reason why a lot of people that have believed that yes i've I did all the questions. I answered everything given to us. There is, I didn't miss any question. So I'm expected to get A. But at the end of the day, they don't get their expected result. All right. So the reason is this. I've broken it down seven. I have to go to check the examiner's remarks. From the examiner's remarks, I've fished out seven key repeated mistakes. The very first one has to do with reading questions carefully. So the chief examiner says that students fail to read question properly. Are you reading the question properly? So you're going into the exam. Make sure that you read the question properly before answering. Sometimes you may need to underline the question what we're talking about here is not the objective we're talking about the theory if you think we're talking about objective no objective of course is just for you to choose option a b c d okay but in the theory the examiners wants to see what you have written down so a lot of people don't read the question so they tend to not get the correct answer the second big repeated mistake is dividing the page some of you once you give the candidate answer sheet don't divide the page of your answer sheet when you finish that particular page open up to the next fresh page to write to continue your answer okay so don't divide the page of your answer sheet if that is done mark is being deducted so if you get your mark deducted, then your score is going to be reduced. All right. So let's look at the third one, writing answers of two different question number on the same page. Say, for instance, you are on a particular page and maybe the concluding part of the previous question is just on three lines. And you now look at it like, oh, we still have so many lines below. Let me just continue with another question. Question two or question four or whatever. No, don't you do that. Okay? Make sure that you go to a fresh page to start a, a new question. What I mean is, I'm not saying like, if a question has like A, B, C, D, then if you've written question A, you've answered question A, B, then C, if you answer question A, you need to go to another fresh page to answer question B. That is not what I am saying. What I'm saying is, question: if a particular page has a particular question, let's say question 2 is on this page, don't write, if you see how space there, don't write another question beneath there. You go to another fresh page to start another question number. All right? Good. Then the fourth one, stay along. I want you to stay along because we see a very interesting um, number at number six that I want to talk about. The number four says omission of units and failure to state answers in monetary value as required. So a lot of candidates will not write the the given unit as it, in, as it is in the question. Say, for instance, you are dealing with kilograms or you are dealing with meter square or you're dealing with centimeter or you, whatever unit you are dealing with, make sure that at the end of the answer, you write the required unit. If, say, the answer is requiring you to look for the calculate the measurement of a particular um, uh, weight measurement, 
then you now instead of you right ending it with kg you just leave it maybe it's 55 just so equals to 55 then you underline then you go no this lead to reduction of marks okay and also what i said earlier also also about the monetary value if you are given question that has to do with okay tunde and um bola shared so so amount of money if it is in naira make sure that your final answer is written in naira and even while you are trying to write out the answers where you're supposed to write unit or the naira or the money value make sure that you write it it is only when you are doing calculation let's say you want to uh, double a particular amount let's say let's say you want to double 250,000 naira then that's say 250 times 2 in that calculation you won't have the monetary value there you just write 250 250 times 2 equals to you now add the value in the final answer the value the monetary value 500,000 I hope you got that all right good then the fifth one has to do with failure to express answer to the required degree of accuracy. What do we mean by failure to express answers to the required degree of accuracy? What that means is this. Sometimes you may be asked to leave your answer in a particular significant figure or in a particular particular format. So let's say you are asked to do this to two significant figure then you just wrote the answer without maybe the answer now result uh, the, your final answer is saying something like four significant figure then instead of you to now make it two significant figure or sometimes it could be that you're supposed to leave it in decimal and your final answer is in fraction then you need to convert that fraction to decimal as stated in the sometimes it not be stated sometimes it's stated okay but from the beginning of the question you should know that oh this is going because that's what we'll talk about if you have read the question properly you will know what the final stage you simplify to the minimum form so there are sometimes in the in the in the in the question you'll be given simplify this particular fraction. But if that is not given, sometimes it's not given in some questions. So you just need to make sure that you finish it to the simplest form. Alright? A lot of students make that mistake and they lose mark. It may not be like lots of mark, but when you add all of this in the whole theory part, you will see that you lose. A reasonable amount of mark and the sixth one is premature approximation what is premature approximation the thing is this let's say for instance the question i've asked you to read to to leave your answer in three significant figure and the values given has more than three let's say each of the values given her this one has four this one has five significant figure then before you do your calculation you have already reduced those value each of the given values on this each one on this okay this one you reduce it to two reduce this one to two so you now do the calculation then you now arrive at two significant figure that is premature approximation don't do that if you do that you end up at the, uh, your final conclusion if it's two significant figure of course you are not supposed you have already prematured the approximation so you are going to lose mark i can't i don't know how many marks have been lost but it is something that you should desist from then the final one relief so relied some of you relied so much on tables and calculators even in question we stated that you shouldn't use tables and calculators you still use it the examiners will know because by the time you use calculation, the, the calculation that you use calculator and tables for is different from the one that you use your head, you know, just saying like 3 divided, 17 divided by 3. And they want to see the calculation. 
But when you use calculator, you just write the actual result times this, times this, the examiner will know. Of course, you may arrive at the correct answer, but the process to arrive at that answer is not clearly stated because they know that you have used calculator. There is no way you will, you will, you will state it there. You can't state calculator. Calculator has been stated on the calculator. Okay, so try to avoid all this. And this has been a persistent mistake that student has been making over the years, far back 2010. Okay, so if you want to get a very good score, a very good score, and you know that this high score is necessary, is very good when you go to like schools like Unilag and some of the schools that grade WIAC, they will grade your work. So for you to have a good score, make sure that you avoid these mistakes. Students will not know. They just go, okay, supposed to get A1, but I finally got, you know, a lower grade, which is acceptable, and they go with it. But when they go to schools like this, you now discover that, wow, I would have done, you know, avoid these mistakes and get a more higher score. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time of coming to our channel, kindly click on the subscription and share this video. Bye-bye.